Hello, my friends, and welcome to 3915 Southeast 146th Avenue in Southeast Portland, Oregon, on the footsteps of the beautiful Powell Butte Nature Park. This 1974 split level, I am so excited to be showing you because it is what we call a light aesthetic fixer. It needs some updates inside, which makes it perfect for flippers, investors, and the Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner that want to move into a place and work on it as they go and put that sweat equity into this house. I think this is a great candidate for it because it could very possibly be financed with a conventional loan. So this makes it very accessible to many buyers. You got to check this out if you're interested in that sort of a home. It has over 1,900 square feet in it, 1,300 square feet. Uh, square feet upstairs, 600 in the basement, the three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and of course, that great big double car garage and a whole backyard. Let's not waste another moment. Let's go check it out. Now, of course, when you come into these split levels, you go to the right, it brings you into the upstairs, the main level, where we have great big open concept living room, dining room, and kitchen. I just love the high vaulted ceilings of this living room. It's great big east facing window that gets that lovely morning light as the sun crests up over top of Powell Butte Nature Park and looks out over top of this very private little cul-de-sac. Also has the wood burning fireplace that I think is just ready for a different uh, surface or paint job on it to update it, maybe make it look like a really cool mid-century modern style, moder modernized very easily. Over here, we have the dining room, which is just off of the kitchen. And of course, with all these dining rooms in these split levels, I love that they have the sliding doors that lead to the covered deck in the backyard, overlooking the whole backyard. The kitchen has lots of space. There's room in here that you can put a rolling island, lots of counter and workspace in here. Got breakfast bars. Even possible that you could open this up more and have it flow into the living room while leaving the supporting uh, posts, the uh, supporting beams. And then of course down the hall, we've got the common bathroom, full bathroom, two secondary bedrooms, and then the primary bedroom that has lots of closet space and then a full bathroom with shower. <laughs> you gotta love the 70s shag carpet. If you've been looking for some 70s shag carpet, you could hang on to this, it's pretty cool. Let's go check out the downstairs. And now here on the lower level, we're into the very large family room. And as you can see, it gets lots of natural light because this house, being a split level, sits pretty high up out of the ground. This is not a deep lower level. So you've got this, once again, a very large east facing window looking out in the cul-de-sac in the front yard wood burning fireplace again below the other one and then it extends all the way back here with another north facing window looking out into the backyard loads of room very easy to update this space just off of it we've got this laundry room washer and dryer hookups utility sink lots of room in it and then just to the back here the half bathroom for the lower level with a natural gas furnace and hot water heater and that leads into the double car garage, electric garage doors, uh, still working, lots of room in this space. Great space in this house. All right, let's go check out the outside. Here we are back outside again. Should mention that on the south side of the house that has a nice long stretch of driveway next to the house graveled that could be great for RV parking. As we head to the back, you can see that there's lots of mature vegetation, rhododendron bushes, some rose bushes. And then once you get back here, you can see there's areas for gardening. A whole greenhouse structure is here. Tool shed. And then a really nifty uh, homeowner made pond that had a whole stream system and everything to it, waterfall system. Could be restored to some real natural beauty or removed and filled in, giving a lot more room to the uh, yard back. And then of course, the deck just off of the dining room that sits up nice and high overlooking the whole backyard. And I should mention, this backyard feels pretty private. It doesn't really have 
any houses with windows right over top of the yard looking in. Great potential in this backyard. So if you're in the market for a project, this house might be perfect for you. Don't hesitate because it might not last long. Have yourself or your buyer's agent reach out to the listing agent today. I'm Alex Roy. Thanks for watching.